Do you remember when the big panic was not about this virus, but about global warming that was going to end civilization as we knew it? In Australia, though, in Australia particularly, there have been allegations that the claims that we've, we've been warming fast have been based on dodgy data, not necessarily done dishonestly, but manipulated in order to maybe, you know, confirm biases or whatever. Now, the Bureau of Meteorology has been repeatedly accused of altering Australia's temperature records by deleting Australia's hottest ever recorded temperatures. Now, the federal politician who understands global warming better than any other is Craig Kelly of the Liberal Party, and he joins me now. Craig Kelly, thank you so much indeed for your time. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we are told that... Uh, you know, the hottest ever temperature... The Bureau every day uh, puts out the hottest every temperatures for every state. In New South Wales, mm -hmm. uh, for instance, it says it was 49.7 degrees back in 1939, followed mm -hmm. just six years ago by 49.1 degrees in Walgett. You dispute those highest ever temperatures in New South Wales. Why is that? Well, first, Andrew, I believe that our uh, history uh, is important. Uh, we live in an age now where you have the communists in China uh, taking uh, democracy books out of libraries in Hong Kong. We've got people tearing down statues. I think protecting the history of Australia, including our climate history, uh, what our forefathers went through in the past, is very, very important. Now, the Bureau of Meteorology put out this nice glossy brochure, as you said there, for New South Wales. It shows our hottest ever temperature in New South Wales was uh, 49.7 degrees. Now, Andrew, that is just completely and utterly false. The Bureau put out a press release on the 3rd of January 2013 where they stated that New South Wales' hottest ever temperature was 50 degrees Celsius in, uh, up in Wilcannia in 1939. Now, I myself went to check that. I went to the National Archives to check if that record was correct. We went through the books in the National Archives and there it was. Uh, January 1939, Wilcannia, 122 degrees, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, that should be listed on that table that the Bureau of Meteorology put out. They've admitted before that it was the hottest ever day. And yet they're giving us some excuse that, oh, it's uh, not digitised data, which simply means they haven't got round to putting that record in some type of computer format. It's just not good enough that the Bureau puts out these glossy brochures and hides the past. Well, it's interesting because uh, you found uh, four records hmm. that, for one reason or another, were hotter than the for New South Wales. Right. And I don't know what the other states... Uh, maybe the same process for other hmm. states. Four uh, places where it was hotter than the three hottest places that the Bureau officially hmm. lists. That's Burke... Uh, uh, mm. 51 degrees in, in 1909, mm -hmm. White Cliffs in 1939, Brewana, 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 sorry, well, I haven't got the pronunciation Brewana. here, my yes, glasses yes, on. Yeah. Brewana, thank you, I didn't see an eye yes. there. Uh, in 1909, and Wilcannia in 1939. Mm -hmm. So they're all before 1940, which is 80 years ago, those four hotter ones. What mm. does that tell you? Well, Andrew, the very significant record there is the one for Burke uh, at 51.7 degrees, which is 125 degrees Fahrenheit. That should be recognised as Australia's hottest ever day back in 1909. It was measured using standardised equipment, the standardised Stevenson screen. The Bureau admits all that. And the excuse that they have given for deleting that record is just complete junk. Everything about well, their that excuse, excuse that is this. Can be they say um, they say that the Burke observation, they're confident mm. that it's highly likely to be a reporting error when they <laughs> compare right. it to observation yes. of other inland <laughs> sites at the time. What do you make of that? Firstly, Andrew, I've checked again the original logbook from Burke, and it is clearly written in there in the observer's handwriting, 125. Uh, third of Sunday, the 3rd of January, 1909. So there's no question the original observer. Now, the idea that oh, this observer was back in 1909 was incompetent and couldn't write, record the temperatures properly, it's just a nonsense. It's an insult to all those weathermen and women over the last century that have dutifully and meticulously gone through and kept those records to someone to say now, oh, look, sorry, they must have made a mistake. And the reason that well, the, the Bureau give... 
that they say, oh, we looked at uh, these other weather stations around and there's nowhere that came anywhere near 125 degrees. Well, again, the National Archives, I went down there, the nearest weather station is Barorina. It's only 90 kilometres from Burke, so you would expect some type of simi similar reading on the same day. And the Barorina reading for that day is 125, uh, sorry, 123 degrees, 2 degrees Fahrenheit difference. So that, to me, confirms the Burke record is correct. Well, the Bureau of Meteorology uh, has given us a statement that says it rejects any suggestion of deleted uh, temperature records or that, or that a handful of extreme temperatures <laughs> Uh, like the four that you've found, would uh, alter mm. the conclusions about Australia's warming climate, which they say is built on mm. millions of observations from hundreds of sites. What, mm. What's your answer to that? Do, well, Andrew, do your it, it's four not records about, change things? It's, it's not about uh, what it changes over the hundred years. It's a fact these are our historic records. This is the history that belongs to every single Australian. It's a reminder of the hardships that our forefathers went through in building this nation and the extreme heat that they went through. No, and for the got Bureau that, but they say, they say the standardisation of instruments in many parts of the country did not occur until 1910. One of the records, I think, was, hmm. uh, is before that that you've okay. found. The Burke, um, for, see, the Burke that, that is not correct for the Burke record. The Bureau admit that that Burke record was contained in standardised equipment. The journals of the day say all the equipment was checked. It was a new Stevenson screen that was a little over 12 months old. It was all standardised equipment. So the idea that this was oh, something that the equipment was all wrong is just a complete nonsense. Well, I find it very interesting. I mean, it's just mm. strange. Four temperature records from before... Mm. 1940 uh, missing from the Bureau's hmm. list of New South Wales hottest temperature, which might make people suggest, well, sure. it was a lot hotter before. What is the panic about? But hmm. the Bureau says, I repeat, and I'll put the uh, document up on my blog, um, hmm. it stands by its conclusion. But anyway, I find it uh, really interesting. Craig Kelly, thank you so much indeed for your time. Thank you, Andrew.